Hi, Teacher Selin. Hello, hello, sir. Well, it's nice to see you again. I think we were not able to have a conversation last time or on Monday. Yeah, I had to, I had to say sorry about that because oh, no. oh yeah because uh, uh, I would I would you can remember last week my big son got an influenza virus mm -hmm. so I. I took my little daughter to my in-laws house to avoid the spread the virus and on Sunday she what it? she come back home on Sunday but unfortunately she was spread the virus so oh she got the virus yeah so <laughs> my son get better but my little daughter is start the virus sick, so I have no way to absent this class. So I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's okay. You don't have to apologize, sir. You know, it's family, and your children are very important. So, did you bring your daughter to the doctor? Uh, yeah, sure. So we what? test the virus or not. Yeah, but she, doctor said she got a virus. virus. Oh my, so it's yeah. also the type of influenza that your son had. Uh, I, I guess that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but nowadays, in my village, the, there is epidemic influenza. So my son's friends, almost, almost my son's friends got the virus now. So in the kindergarten, there are, <laughs> there are many children have, have to be absent from, uh, absent. That's right, have to be absent from school or have yeah, to be absent, be absent, right? Yeah, absent from kindergarten now. So it's a, a little, a little bit empty. <laughs> That's right. So there's a there's an influenza epidemic in your area and okay. Mm. I think when you're talking about an epidemic, this means the virus is spreading in your community. Yes. My son's kindergarten or my daughter's walking place and some other place. Right. So what is the what is the mayor or what are the public officials or what are the medical professionals saying about your community because there is a widespread of influenza in your neighborhood or in your community what are they planning to do mm, I think it's not serious yet just our small apartment complex or some our kindergarten just mm -hmm. yeah it, in my whole Korea yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah just my my son's two more friends mm -hmm. got the virus uh, now right. yeah so then, so yeah but it's it's more it's getting more serious but I want to pass in my house <laughs> right <laughs> Right. Mm. And I hope that the adults, just like you, um, are not going to get the virus. I hope that the virus will not be transmitted to more adults, especially you, because you're working. Yeah, sure. But so <laughs> before my son is sick, I was sick. I was very sick. Just throat, throat, throat pain, very yeah, seriously. Sure. Right. Yeah, next is my son was sick and and the next my daughter is sick. So I think the last turn is my wife. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I really worry I will I'm really worried about that because if she is sick, I would take leave whole week to take care of my family. I cannot exactly. work anymore. Right, very 
very true. If that happens, it's going to be a big inconvenience because you had to leave work for one week. You have you have to take care of your children for mm. one week. And, of course, you have to take care of your wife until she gets better. Yeah, sure. Furthermore, next week in my company, I have to start another project. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, so, so you have to... You have to take care of yourself, and you tell your wife to take care of herself, too. Yeah, sure. So, oh, <laughs> no. no listen, <laughs> this situation, situation is so bad. I know. I totally understand. It is bad, and as you have said, it's getting serious. Yeah, but after, after rain, uh, got get better. This situation is gone. Yes, I hope so too. Right. I hope that um I hope that the cases will decrease or the number of people um getting the virus will decrease and mm. I hope that the epidemic will be gone. Yeah, sure. So but tomorrow my son is can start going to kindergarten. Uh so it's a Okay for you. I mean, your son can go to kindergarten tomorrow. Yeah. So my wife can concentrate. Uh, concentrate to on. 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 How to say? On taking care of my daughter only alone. Very good. Tomorrow, yeah. yeah. But today, our whole children stay my house, so I have to take a leave today. I did work today. Mm. Ah, I see. <laughs> I got it. That's right. So you, you were absent. You did not go to work today. You had you and your wife had to take care of the kids. Hmm. Yes, correct. So, so I feel tired. More tired than I usually working. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Even, yeah. Even though I stay home, but it's very very tired now. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I think you had more jobs to do or you had more work to do at home than in the office. <laughs> yes. So I want to go to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's yeah. important or it's essential to go to work tomorrow because as you have said, you're going to start a new project. Yeah, I should prepare the project. Because right. I lost today to pro prepare that, so from tomorrow I have to I need to overtime work. Oh, okay. So how mm. many hours do you usually work when you work overtime? How many hours more do you spend in the office? Oh, usually I work eight hours, except mm. lunch time. But well, when I need the overtime working, two or three more hours. Oh my! So, I so usually, so sir, usually you go home or you finish work at around one what time? Usually, I get by home about nine or ten p.m. 9 or 10 p.m. Mm. If you work overtime, or is that the usual time that no, you over, get off? Work? Yeah, overtime. Ah. Usually, I get, um, come home 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Ah, I with, see that. Yeah, without overtime, overtime job. Exactly. Oh. But since you're going to work overtime tomorrow, you are going. You are probably going to go home at around 10 or 11. Yeah, I think so. But my kids still not good, so I uh, <clears throat> how to solve this problem. <laughs> I know. Ooh. I totally understand how you feel, and I am so worried, especially when my children are sick. Yeah. Um, what more for you? Two of your children are sick. Well. Your daughter and your son are both sick, and they are trying to recover from the virus. So I think you are more worried. Yeah, if if the if the situation getting bad, 
getting worse. Getting worse. I have to call my parent, my mommy, to come my house to help us. Ah, uh, I see. Um, by the way, Logan, are your parents living far? Do they live far? Yeah, or a bit, or a little bit far. It's it's almost one half hour to get my home from their house. Oh, one and a half hour by car. Yeah, by car, oh. not by working. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, she can drive. She can drive by herself. <laughs> I was thinking if it, it it will take one hour by um you know by train or any form of public transportation, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah. By... <laughs> okay, just a joke. If if she come to the public transportation, it's almost a two or two and a half hours. If she if she's going to use public transportation, yes. To ah uh, okay. Before she buy a car, she usually use. The public transportation, and subway or some bus, and totally it it needs two or two and a half hours to get my house. Ah. But recently she got a new car, so she uh. enjoy driving. Ah, uh. and Logan, I can hear someone crying. Is that your daughter? Yes, my wife. Yeah, it's definitely bad. But my wife is, is uh, taking it's, care it's, of your daughter. Yeah, so no way. Oh, so, um, oh my God. I know. Oh, you are in a very difficult situation, Logan. And um, I hope that this will be over. I hope that you will be able, you will be able to overcome the difficulty and I hope that your children will get well soon so yeah thank you very much you're welcome Logan so be careful of course I am not saying this for your children but for your whole family you have to be careful as well okay yes okay thank you you're welcome by the way logan um i have one more thing to tell you on friday we are not going to have a conversation yeah i, I already know you are a good holiday right right that's right so we yeah. are celebrating a big holiday it's as big as christmas yeah i heard your biggest holiday mm -hmm. that's oh, right. christmas is bigger or I think Christmas is the biggest, right? That's right. Christmas is the biggest holiday in the country. Yes, correct. Oh, I think your uh, your wife needs help. Oh, yeah, especially I I can keep going. I will start. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. Okay, a few no, minutes so... more. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> Well, going back to the holiday, yes, Christmas and New Year are the biggest holidays that we have. And um, this Holy Week, or we, con uh, we call it the Lenten, the Lenten season. Ah, Lenten season. Ah, Lenten is the normal noun. Ah, um, Lenten is a special, well, it's a religious term. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I I also I am also Christian. Mm -mm. My 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 religion name is Joseph. Oh really? Yes. My you know my my Christian name is Joshua. Oh Joshua. Oh yes. some some guy use the Joshua as a man name, man's name. I you're definitely right. It, it is a boy's name. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, but, I, oh, that's why I consider the name to use. But some guys already use that. So. <laughs> oh, you're Joshua. I'm yes. Joseph. In Christian name. Are you right? That's right. So I believe many people all over the world celebrate the Easter Sunday or celebrate Easter Sunday. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's very for... meaningful because uh, the Jesus reversed it the day, all right? Exactly. That's right, Logan. Very good. But for yeah. the Catholic and the Christian families in the Philippines, we celebrate it for the whole week. Mm, yes. Oh, congratulations. So okay. in my country, a uh, Christian is one of the biggest religion, but the other Buddha or some other other religions exist is or uh, are exist did. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah there are religion. yeah, there are many religions. Religion, religion right? Religion. Uh, religion, yeah. Right. So awesome. it's not our country is the public public a uh, public li religion. So so uh East Egg Day is not our holiday. I think so too. You're totally right. And that's right, so Easter egg or the Easter egg hunt is not a common activity here because the Easter Sunday is just a part of the Holy Week. Mm -hmm. So instead of the Easter Sunday, we put more importance to Thursday, Friday, so and Friday. Saturday. Oh, three days. Yes, for three days. So many people usually, um, they usually do fasting or they're not going to eat on those days or sometimes oh. they go to church mm. right and oh. mm. Mm. in my country yes. my if my country has the three days of holiday many people mm -hmm. go to trip not to go to church is it okay <laughs> in philippines yes it is it's okay too. I it is also too. acceptable. Yes. Okay, yes. I see. <laughs> <laughs> so many families go on a trip during the during the Holy Week. Specifically, mm. um, they start on Thursday. So as early as Thursday, they already plan their trip or they already start booking tickets for oh. their trip. Maybe the ticket price is more expensive than usual days, right? Exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, it's funny. If if the if the religion law is strict, mm -hmm. everyone should go to the church at the at the holiday, and you cannot eat something before the day, right? Right. That's true. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Well, but nowadays I didn't go to church. <laughs> Because I'm uh -huh. busy or somebody, right. yes. But when I was young, I go to the church with my parents. Mm -hmm. At the time, the church gave us some eggs. Oh, ah, I see. Yeah, then we throw something on the eggs and put the eggs to the small pretty basket and some mm -hmm. other. So we could, that's our celebration, I remember that. Oh, that's right. So that's how, yes, that's how many Christian families and that's how Christians celebrate Easter. And you're correct. So your childhood, Easter. yeah, you remember your childhood very clearly. Mm. And yes, it, but it's funny. Yes, I, I think so too. And you know what? Um, just like you, I also don't have time to go to church. I mean, I don't go to church regularly oh. and because of, well, because of the schedule, probably my work schedule and the fact that I couldn't go there every Sunday because of the changing weather and it's hard to bring my sons because they are still too young. Oh, yes, sure. Oh. Mm -hmm. Me too. To be too. <laughs> That's why I go <laughs> to church nowadays. <laughs> Right, very true. And Logan, since we are we are talking about religion, um, as you have said, Korea is Korea is a diverse country with diverse spiritual belief. So uh, there are many. Di oh, I'm sorry, diverse. Yes, that's right. So ah, diverse. Yes. Yep. A kind of variety. Like, variety. Right. Yes, right. With with a variety of religion. Mm, yes, correct. But right, the so biggest one is Chris, Christian, Christ. The biggest Christian. one is Christian, yeah. The next is Buddha. 
Buddhist. Buddhist. Ah, Buddhist. Yeah. And some other Christians is they believe <coughs> minor things. Ah, oh, right. Two, yeah, twist and how to say mm, pro ah uh, Protestantism. Ah, uh, Protestant. Yeah, Protestantism and. And oh, a Catholic, Catholic. Catholic, right? Yeah, yeah. in my country, it's very different. Mm -mm, the first exactly. one is the biggest, but the Catholic is similar than the first one. Yes, I think so too. So that's right. Your country consists of, uh, uh your country has diverse spiritual beliefs. So some people or many people are Christians. Other people are Buddhist. Some other people have different religions. So, um, I believe that in May, um, people are people in Korea are going to celebrate a religious holiday called Buddha's birthday. Yeah, Buddha's birthday and Jesus' birthday as Christmas. Right, that's true. But in May, it's Buddha's birthday. So I believe it's a big holiday in Korea too. Oh, but but to the Christians, mm -mm. it's only one of the holidays. Ah, Not the day. Yeah, it's right. very, because the religion's relationship is not good. Oh. Yeah, different than I think not good yet. So that's right. Yeah, in fact, there are three religions as I mentioned, and Catholic and Buddhist and. The biggest one is the oh, yeah, pro protesting. <laughs> How to say? It? Yeah, protestant. Uh, yeah, protest, protestant, uh, protestant. Yes, protestant. Yeah, it's the biggest religion in my country. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. it's very, it's very strange to you, I think so. Um. You are Catholic, I, right? Yes. Oh, okay. So I have. I think I have to correct my pronunciation. Protestant. Ah, uh, pro protest pro the, Protestant. Very good. Protestant. Protestant. Oh uh, yeah. I yeah. think uh, I have a no. <laughs> I I I don't use this word anymore. <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Exactly. It's an English word that we don't usually use, but um, I think it's 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 good that we know an English word related to religion. So there are three major religions in your country: okay. Christianism, Buddhist, Buddhism, and um, Protestantism. Protest, uh, Protest. Okay. RP, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually, yeah. I didn't talk about religions my life so mm. Mm. right so it's it's weird but the thing is um we have holidays um related to our spirituality or we have holidays related to religion mm. right? uh, do, you have, do you have any special special plan um we so want to go on a trip as much as we want to go on a trip maybe visit some places some religious places because the religious provinces um are just nearby like one hour or two hours away Ooh, you can get the ocean um actually it's like um how do you call this there are mountains we can visit the mountains and when we visit the mountains there are some religious um religious scenery or mm. yes um a scenery where uh a scenery that tells about uh, the life scenery. of jesus yes uh, a scenery yes. so it's like yeah. a painting or a statue or a monument or monument of um the religious characters 
that we can find in the Bible. So when we climb a mountain or when we go on a when we go on those places, we can travel each mountain or each spot, and there's a religious story in each spot. Wow, it is sort of meaningful trip up to the regional trip, right? Wow, very good. I, yes, right. That's true. It is very good, and I have been wanting to do that. I have been wanting to go on a trip, but the thing is, we have children who are very young. Ah, yeah. I think you will get a hard time. <laughs> And yeah. the we, uh, uh, forecast, uh, weather forecast said the weekend weather is good or not? Ah, good question. According to the weather forecast, in many okay. places in the Philippines, it's generally gun. It's generally a good weather. So wow, it's very yes, right. Thank you. Yeah, it's going I love to Philippines. Be... I I visited <laughs> the Bohol and Cebu <laughs> before. Oh. You did. You did. Yeah, sure. The times. Oh, ever. oh, Logan. I yeah. think that's a very interesting topic to talk about next week. Yeah, it's about travel and Philippine oceans. I love that. I really love that. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to hear more from you, and I would love to hear your experiences, your travel experiences in the Philippines. And in other countries. So let's talk more about traveling um, on Monday. Okay, I prepare some sentences to say to you. I talk to you. Yes, I will be waiting. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you so much, Logan, for talking with me. Um, take care of your children and yes. take care of yourself. I okay. Talk. Yeah. Thank you very much, and have a nice day with your good trips. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend, Logan. Yeah, thank you. See you on Monday. See you. Bye. Yeah, bye-bye.